I thought it was the radio I did. I thought it was. Do you want to? We'll have to yeah. pull up now somewhere. <laughs> just, just pretend it's not there at the moment. So what we'll do? There's something I could. I, there's something in between the boot. I think. I think there's. You know, I go on air to shut it. It sounded like it wasn't. Yeah, shutting on some sort of cloth or material. Turn right into the next road on the right. Just pull into this car park and then just pull forwards into a bay. Any bay you like. Something that's in the w stopping it. Yeah, my bag got uh, stuck in it. The temptation is to grab the phone, isn't it? I did yeah. a video on this yesterday, um, you know, distractions and stuff. Yeah. I'm gonna take my phone off. <laughs> if all else fails, just hit it with a hammer. Yeah. I'll just drop it on the floor, it's an iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> Down to that with a Galaxy S8, it'll shatter. Yeah. Uh, just in fact, talk about the S8. Anybody watching who has got a Galaxy S8 uh, Edge, uh, just let me know if yours has cracked and damaged really, really easily. Because everybody I know who's got one, it's just all the corners are chipped and broke. And you've only got to breathe on them and the crack break. Is it like all glass thing like, all the way around, or is it? No, the back's not, and the corners, the oh. the whole of the front is. But oh. um, your bike park's good. You know what you're doing with that wheel and that, don't you? And you, everything. Yeah, um, I think I got used to it with my grandpa's tractor, so I've got quite used yeah? to. We'll be all right, then, won't we? When we look at this, <laughs> we're not done this yet, have we? No. no? Uh, so we're heading back uh, out towards the exit, yeah. Yeah. So then that way. Yeah. Right at the end. at the roundabout, third exit.
straight about, we'll go straight on, it'll be your second exit.
the sun's been out of here. Just what he wants, Jack. Yeah. Is he paying attention? No. Do you reckon he's just jumped in? What's he reaching for, do you reckon? Could be anything, phone or drink. So what should our gap get be? Because he's close to the car in front, that's why he keeps brake. He's accelerating now, he's going to slam on his brakes any second. Yeah. Luckily the car in front sped up so he didn't need to. He went in a minute now.
tyres to the right and do have the handbrake on. Why is it important that you're not angled with the car or your tyres are pointing to the right in that situation there? Um, someone could come off and hit your tyre by accident and just shear your wheel off. You could That'd do. That would be a worse scenario. <coughs> By that logic, though, they're going to they're going to have a yeah. head-on collision, and they're going to knock your mirror off, you know, when they drive past and things like that. It could happen, but the main thing is if you get shunted from behind, which is likely in a vulnerable position like that, you're going to uh, go right on. You're going to be shunted into your driving line will be yeah oncoming traffic. Okay. Whereas if you keep your tyres dead straight there, and your car is angled dead straight in relation to the road, you're only going to go get shunted forwards. Yeah. So you want to just think about risk and how you would manage risk there. Yeah. Positioning was lovely though, you know, the approach and everything. Just just a few little tips there to add in. I think we've gone over it before, but I remembered you were allowed to go over. The yeah, hash. and that's why that was so good. I reckon because you knew that time, didn't you? That what you could and couldn't do. Because that right turn box is to protect turning traffic after all. So make sure you're probably, you know, cutting the risks. Okay, so when, we, uh, when we're driving down this road, we'll look to do the emergency stop. We'll look to do it at about 25 mile an hour-ish. Do you want to do a recap at all, or have you got it fresh in your mind at the moment? How do you feel? I think I remember you saying that you'll look around for cars and yeah. vehicles. Yeah, don't do anything until they give the signal. And then, yeah, and then you'll say stop. approaching a junction that braking would have been lovely and smooth but for an emergency stop it's a bit soft okay. do you reckon yeah. what do you reckon so you've got to get down on that brake a bit sooner okay. get it to the point where you can't press it anymore okay. but don't get there suddenly work your way down quickly down the pedal yeah. I think that's what I was having trouble with yeah like don't be shy with it yeah. Take the next left, please, Jack. So all be well, well. We'll have a look at doing it at um, some point before that big wide junction down there. That big wide one. Do you see it? Yeah. We'll see. There's a car there, we won't be doing it, all right? Yeah. It's gonna follow us out, isn't it? I think now we're on, we've got the brain sort of working towards emergency start, I think we should stick with it now. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> You're still, anticipating yeah. the next, yeah. Um, 
I'm sorry, it's, uh, it's a bit like this. It was, weren't too bad last time, was it? We did it in the or else. Oh no, it was actually. It was the same thing, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> This, this next time, you yeah. reckon? Yeah. Do you reckon? We'll see. Um, what we'll do, Jack, we'll turn right at the crossroads, okay? Very good place to park, is it? Not really. It I think it's 10 metres away, just about. Yeah. I think, additionally to the 10 metre rule, you've got to use a bit of common sense along with that as well. driving instructor one day Jack. You're a, you're a natural. <laughs> I think I'm quite quick to adapt to things. Like learning how they work and it's like go-karts. Like I've, I've we went to this one with a family. I've never been on those go-karts, never around the track. I go around the track once and like grandma speed and the next minute I'm flying round it with a tire screeching the next lap. You got your bearings and then you was off yeah. like, yeah. No, I, I, I didn't go off. I, no, I mean, you, and then you was off like oh, proper off like that, proper yeah. driving once you've yeah. done a lap and figured it out. Yeah, I've done a lap yeah. I'm like, if I take, that's what I do, I go round the track and I go. I right. take the next right. Yeah. I go round going like, I can take this line, I can break here and... So one like this I would use second. Okay. You know the very fact you're on your brakes going round? Yeah. It's a sign that you should be in a lower gear. Okay. Plus it's downhill, plus there's that, that curb in the middle. So, you know, you need to think about whether, I know sometimes you're doing third really well, but sometimes that one was a bit borderline as well. You know, that yeah. one earlier where with that big wood, there was the wooden post and you turned left, it was downhill. I said, oh, we might do it down here. And I said, there's that car that's going to follow us out of the junction. That was done in third as well, probably about five minutes ago. Um, and I think, again, it could be done in second, really. So 
we've got to make this next emergency stop count because we might not get a chance to do one again for another hour. Yeah. So just remind me what are you going to make sure that you do differently because the rest was great. Uh, just the brake a bit harder and a bit more, you say vicious, would you say? Firmer. Firmer. Firmer, sooner. Imagine there is a child stood in front. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, the bus may be ahead of schedule. Yeah. Let's see. I might ask you down here. You can't see anybody getting on or off. Okay, now I can see an indicator. Mm, don't think that's wise really if the bus moves off then it's yeah, there you go. So never knew when that was gonna actually happen. So let's turn left at the end. So, do you, is there anything you want to go over, or do you want to get straight into it? Um, I think, as usual, if I need to do something, let me know. Okay. Um, right. Yeah. Remember to set my mirror. Um, yeah. Hopefully, there's going to be traffic come down while you're doing it. <laughs> if it doesn't. Strange thing to say, isn't it? But yeah. Uh, just to see how you would deal with it, and if you would spot it. Yes. All right. Yeah, good, so you got your mirror down, that's going to help you later on, isn't it, with the kerb? Yeah. Alright then, Jack, I'll leave you to it, unless I need to say anything. Signaling to. I don't know. Just in case a car does come round, they know where I'm going. I think. So. You've got some lights on, though. You're at the back.
do. I need to move forward and... Do you know what I'd do? Yeah. I would... You, you could shunt, shuffle forwards and whatever and sort that out. But you want to aim to not do that in the first place. So you just pull back out and do it again? Or... Yeah, I think... It might have been because I was asking you about them lights, but I think... You steered slightly late based on what you said to me uh, earlier on when we first met up. You said, when I'm level, I'll full left lock and then I'll go out to one o'clock. Now, your one o'clock was one slash two o'clock. So I'm more of a sharper angle coming back. Uh, because of the sharper angle, that means you, you need to steer earlier here. Okay. Um, but you want, you want to steer slightly early there anyway, I think, really. So, yeah, with that in mind. Is that clear? Do you want me to help you with those bits? or? I'll start again then. Yeah. Yeah. Your car. Just indicate left. I think your positioning's clearly confirming what I'm doing. Yeah, which you know you're not moving, are you? So positioning's a strong form of showing what your intentions. I suppose your intentions could show you're gonna go there. Right, when you put it in reverse now, what lights come on? The reverse lights. There you go. want to steer when you're level though. So, so the back ends are level. Oh. Bring it back forwards. It'll still work like that but I'll, I know you can do it really good so let's let's get you as good as you can be. Just move forward till we're level. There is it? No, more, 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 there. Right? Because oh, yeah. the front's level with the back really as well isn't it? And they're yeah. about the same size car aren't they give or take without us going to rule out. <coughs> So at this, it's this point you'd full lock. Ah, uh, yeah. I've been asked what I might, out of anything, have the trouble with. It's just getting that first initial... coming down. And have it a shallow one o'clock angle, rather than a sharp one. Because then you can create more time there, you know, to figure out where you are and when you're going to stay. See what I mean? Yeah. You're still nice and close at the front, aren't you? So yeah. you'd be getting a real life parking space like we're using this method. So you could have done with that a bit earlier, couldn't you? Yeah. Wow. That's... What do they call that? Sick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was sick. So that was uh, that was really good, wasn't it? Maybe I could get any closer. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Key things there then that was different. Uh, I definitely think my speed was different actually. Yeah. What compared to last? To wait, compared to the first? Yeah. Compared, yeah. To the first part we just did now, um, I think I was a lot quicker, and then this time I was a lot, a lot slower, more controlled. It helps so much. Yeah. Um, and then I remembered, to, as you said, like coming more of a, a shallow one o'clock, and then I fall right, and I sort of come in and straight myself up. It's great, yeah. So, do you reckon you could do it again? Do you want to do it again? Or is that, how, how do you feel? Yeah, I think it'd be good to do it again and see if I can okay. remember to do it. Here's one to learn as well. A lot of people would look at this and think, oh, I'll never get out of there, it's too close. Well, you got in, yeah, you so you can definitely get out. Yeah. yeah. As long as you don't travel forwards too much and then steer, it would be almost, you know, as soon as the wheels move about that much forward, it would yeah, be full right lock on and you know you're gonna yeah. get out. What would you do though if your view weren't that good? Uh, 
Yeah, so it's your call here. Um, it's a car, you can see through the glass, you might be able to see more down the side. Yeah, it's your call. You can see what's going around the corner. Yeah. Well, roughly anyway. What are you going to do then? Are you going to do. I'll try and follow up because most of the time I've just driven back and I think it'd be a good practice to. Yeah. Because there could be a car parked really close behind exactly. me. And uh, it's called an angle start, what we're referring to here, and you'll oh. be asked to do one on your driving test as well. Okay. But not this close. So I'm always going to over prepare you for everything really. Yeah. So when you're moving out, it might just mean you have a couple of shoulder checks because it takes longer to get out and round, you see? Yeah. So. That's it. Safe to. I'm going to hit the curb. There's people there, so. Yeah. So, really, the people you should be stopping a bit before that. You need to be looking around a bit more. That car that was coming, that had been driving test fail, I believe, there because, yeah, you said you spotted it, but it was still move. It was still coming towards us whilst you were straight. You hadn't started steering at that point but you hadn't started slowing down either uh, and uh, so it could have done it could have been hell bent on going past you it could have gone off yeah. on the pavement and all sorts and you'd have just carried on yeah. so okay. I felt that was much more rushed than the last one you did I don't know how, like, yeah. how you feel um, you know the last bit as well we're always working in full locks so you delay the last half a steer when you're putting the last bit of right on to get the car in to, to come inwards like this, which is why we've, you know, we're going to. I think if you'd have got that on sooner, that extra steer just kinks it over a little bit more and gets it in. So get that. So you're going. So you're going full left lock, tire straight. Come back at one o'clock till the door handle sits on top of the curb. 
and then f- and then bang 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 full lock. Okay. okay, the more experience you get, you might decide to you to put it on slowly at points or in stages, but if you haven't got much room left there, you definitely want to be full locking earlier rather than later. Unless you're gonna run out of space even sooner. Yeah. So on reflection, what are you gonna do differently on the next one? Slow it down, yep. as you said I've brushed it, which I think I did. Uh, look around more. Yeah. And then try and remember to get that lock on quicker. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Do you want any help with those bits? Uh, yes, please. If I, yeah, please. So just give me help anyway. Yeah, please. Let's do that then. Right, so if you get yourself back in the starting position, which you can do brilliantly. So safe to start, yeah. Don't lock your X, we're not level with you. Try and do that as you go forwards next time. You know, so you ain't gotta mess about and you're going backwards. Yeah. So look at where we're going then. Any cars coming, anything we should be stopping for, and forwards and then the junction. Yeah. Yeah. So the next thing is we're at the point of turn. So full left lock. There is a car. A stop stop. Stop. Because it could try and go round us on the right. So we definitely want to be responding to that, not continuing the manoeuvre and blocking the road up. All right, because it might want to get around. It's gone now. It might persist, yep. Yeah. Don't need the signal. You've already got signals, you've got reverse lights. I'll tell you what that would tell me, if you put a left on, is tell me that you're going to park here. Okay. You're not parking here, are you? You're manoeuvring. And that proves the point there, look. They can get through the wheel. Yeah. Even though you're, you're, for all he knows then, you could even be about to release the brake and whiz backwards. He's content in taking that risk. Probably didn't even think about it, but the point is most people don't. That's yeah. why you've got to. You've yeah. got to take it upon yourself. All right, so good. So you've got your shoulder check in, and then full left lock. Has that lady crossed the road or is she going to? No. no? Okay. So full left lock on, done. Another shoulder check, just to update. Back to uh, where you're going then, direction of travel. Now looking forward, expecting one o'clock. Straighten up there, done, done, done. Good, updating, and the van's doing what? It's it's turning, all right, so controlling the speed coming backwards. Keep it real, uh, keep it at this speed. Looking mainly where you're going. Don't steer yet, don't steer yet. When that door handle sat on the curb, stone. Now, full right lock, done, go. Keep it on and don't take it off until you're straight. Not yet, not yet, and all together, now, go. I'm done, job done. I don't feel like it was much different, because I know you're quite good at it as well, sort of thing. Yeah. What, what do you think, what What made that? Yeah, I think What is it that's... I don't know, I think it's just like, I think the thing with parallel parking, like, why ever get it when you don't? You either get it or you don't. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't really know. Like sometimes I get it first go, and it's like just now, just for this one, I've had, had to start again. So I didn't get it. You don't have to start again, though. I remember, you you just have to you just shuffle forward and re readjust, which I think you're um, quite good at making adjustments with the steering wheel. You know where you are with it. Yeah. Like you say, she's been driving tractors and things. Yeah. So I think you can get it. So we've got to be careful here not to for you to drop confidence. It's just that you just didn't get the right lock on in time, yeah. and you're not looking in this mirror probably as much as you should be. Okay, let's remove that word because I don't want you staring in that mirror because then you will miss traffic. You will miss the danger. You're not glancing into this mirror as much as you should be looking for a particular thing. What's that thing? But 
Yeah, coming up, coming up to, coming up to is key. Yeah. You don't want to look when it's on top of. No. If it's already on top of when you look, and then you stay. Exactly. You see what I mean? So it's just that, really. You, I think I don't think this is a. I don't feel this is an issue for you, but I do. I do want you to feel like you can do it as well. Yeah. What do you want to do about it? Do you want to do it again or move on? How do you feel? Um, what do you feel? Should do. I think you should finish off um, with a glitter. No. Personally, no. I do. Yeah. If you're asking me. Yeah. Because we now I now I feel I feel like we should finish off with a good and a good parallel park. Yeah. So I, I think you should have I think you should have another goal based on what we've just been over. Put that in you know to good use yeah. yourself this time without me telling you. Yeah. And then um, you definitely just want to be practicing this week with it. If you go out in your car. You should be. Yeah. You should really be practicing what we're doing, or else it's it's not really best practice for you. It's just just yeah. just aimless driving, if you like, you know. So it's still better than nothing, though. I don't get me wrong. It's all good. Yeah. So yeah. So do you want to uh, use the same car? Uh, yeah, I don't mind. Yeah. So when you're ready, we'll have another go. to it, yeah? Yeah, yes. Straighten up here. Hold the left steer on until you're straight. As soon as you are, like you are with the kerb and you finish, not yet, not yet, not yet. Hold it longer. Keep travelling, don't matter how far forward you go. Yeah. Keep it on, now, straight. Right, now it's straight, don't we look? Yeah. You don't got to do it when you go backwards and it's less to think about during the actual manoeuvre part. Ah, uh, yeah. I will shut up now. That's it Jack, good stuff. We knew he was going to turn this way because he had no signal on and he's a taxi. How do you feel about parallel parking? That went well. You know what you're doing, don't you? Yeah. Remember to like stop for the cars. Yeah. No. It's all right if the manoeuvre's accurate, but if it ain't safe, it's, yeah. then it's no good. So that time, really good. In terms of everything. Um, do you want to go over? Are you good in your mind with it, or do you want to go over what it is you did differently so you can bookmark it? How do you feel? What I did differently was 
remember to look around more and look at the direction where I was going. You did. Keep up to date with the traffic and remember like where your uh, the handle is with the curb. Mm -hmm. And just control your speed. Yeah. Um, quite hard actually because it sort of slopes down in a way so when you get off a break you're going really slow and it just speeds up all of a sudden. Do you know what that is? What it's called? The just slant, no. It's called camber. Oh, You're yeah. probably familiar with it with the racing and that. But in, in the road terms it's for drainage so the water just yeah, yeah. to either side. Um, that's why you know some roads that only slope one way the drainage systems on one side and then you'll see, you'll find, but yeah. yeah. All right, so shall we have a look, see if we can get the emergency stop recapped? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll get on some faster roads, I think. Um, yeah, all right. If we were in a van or something, we'd see through that. Yeah, or over it. <laughs> yeah. Well, before you go, Jack. Yeah, let's get this. Yeah, I didn't see oh. that personally, oh. but your door mirror. Thank you. Because in theory, you've done a six point check, I mean, you need to move off left shoulder, left mirror, centre mirror, road ahead, yeah. right mirror, right blind spot, road ahead again. Should have spotted that, really. Yeah. So that would suggest when you are checking, you're skim checking and not actually interpreting the information that's shown in the mirror. Yeah, I think on that side I was, but I was Fair enough. In these. Fair enough, okay. I so think what it was, because I... Yeah. I think what it was, I was looking in the mirrors, and then I looked in the mirror and I think my brain just didn't pick up about it. I was, what I was looking at was the pavement. That's what it was. Right, yeah, okay. Um, shall I stop? I would keep going because I would expect them to do the same as what we've just done. Yeah. You know, because it's them that's manoeuvring in the road. Yeah. You know, so we're just driving through as we should be, really. So let's turn left at the end.
is that the emergency stop had another lesson or else I think um. turn, turn right at the end. Exactly where I'd have done because you're going to want to get a clean getaway here, aren't you? Yeah. You sort of want to get my car straight away. That's right, yeah. And if your foot's on the brake, you're not going to want that. You're going to roll before you can engage the clutch. That's right, yes. Well done. There'll be a clown car next. Yeah. All the doors will fall off. Well, like... <laughs> could have gone then. Could you gotta laugh, haven't you, when it's like this? Like, yeah, you just. Or else you'd cry. <laughs> so we just want to give up, don't you? <laughs> just throw your toys out. Yeah. Oh my. Just as the gap come there, there's yeah. a, you've got another one on the other side. Oh, have we got one? Oh no. <laughs> oh, oh.
it's going to be your fourth exit altogether. go under the tunnel you could go left as well if you go under the tunnel it might mean braking because the lights turn red cars behind might not expect it but if you signal right now right see what I mean so if you started braking because them lights turn red the cars behind could clip you as they go round the bridge round that yeah. don't turn that road left or right so that's why the left's crucial here you see what I mean The new, the new, you know the, I don't know what the shape's called, like the big 4x4 four four type, XC90. Yeah, they're absolutely, like, they just drink petrol like Do they? Thing is, yeah, it's insane. That's the only reason I wouldn't get one. A Volvo? Yeah. I think, yeah, they're good for their reliability as they know it. Mm. But, um. They 
know you're turning left sometimes because they know you slow down. A couple might turn in before you, so you can help things out a little bit. So I'd, as soon as I come off the road, I cancel and reconfirm. So they know you definitely are turning left. You do mean it, and the signal isn't just left on from uh, the roundabout. No. And we'll turn left at the roundabout. straight on. I've gone over the line. We haven't we? Why do you think that happened Jack? I think it's because I was going up the hill and I was looking that way and not yeah. right. Yes. You're looking both ways like? Yeah. So that's what you want to be doing isn't it? So you catch the lines that are probably a bit quick as well and maybe a bit quick you didn't know where you were. Oh, yeah. So you've got to yeah, just start slowing down a bit earlier. Look for where the curbs are peeling away because where them curbs level off after the peel is going to be level with the line that comes across. Okay white paint. So take the next road on the left. on sooner, bike point earlier, that's it. These are all steps you can take so that that doesn't happen. You know what, that hill back there where we went over slightly? Yeah. Which way are we going to be turning at the end? Uh, left, yeah. Is it still necessary to signal? No, we should only go one way. It is, because there's going to be pedestrians around who, and uh. all sorts of things who could benefit from our, or the road users, you see, who could benefit from our signal. So we'll always give one. Could be the difference as whether somebody steps out, I think. Yeah, I wouldn't for that reason. You know, even if the right's free. Yeah. 
you've got to really be happy that that right's going to stay in the right. Change lanes, one to the right, please. Now, when you turned early, the back tyre just clipped over the kerb, didn't it? Yeah. Do you know why that happened? Uh, we are turned in too soon. Just a smidge too early. Yeah. Your method was nearly correct. And what I would do, because that was like a sharp, tight, right-angled, curved kerb. Yeah. So what I would do is steer slightly later, but steer much, but your steering was fast. It was, like you say, just the timing was a fraction off. Um, but as you're turning, if there ain't anything there, you haven't got to be as careful if you think about it. But make sure you can see into the road first. You don't want to stray wide intentionally. Yeah, just slightly later. You want to be at least halfway past the actual. Uh, yeah, the actual like turning. Yeah, where the kerb just goes off, like you know, like here, that kerb's going to go out of the view of the dashboard, doesn't it? Because he's peeled off. Same thing there. It's got to be well out of view. what do we need to do differently next time Just make sure you're gonna get past the whole jump yeah and this is why you know that roundabout I said to you earlier and it seemed like it was not like made no sense saying it but I said to you earlier and just past the BP garage on the left I said look at the car in I said look at the car in front and at that point, the car in front started moving and what I just said made no sense. But you, you was doing there what you did here. Yeah. You accelerated towards cars that was slower than what you were going. So you're caught up, but so therefore you're limiting your time to plan and seeing where, and predicting where they're gonna stop. So you just stop wherever they stop. So what you do here is they're gonna move in a minute. Don't you be too quick to move. Let's have a look at what they're actually. See, that lorry's just moved about that much. Let's have a look first. Okay, now start moving gently. Yeah, but when you're coming up to slow moving traffic, it's the same kind of concept. Slow earlier and have a look and see where they might land, you know. We're going to go um, ahead here. It's third exit. You could consider it a right turn if you wish. Up towards for your house, for example. See, so if you call it a right turn, we're using a right signal then, aren't we? Yeah. But it's still the same road, that is. Yeah. If the roundabout weren't there, I think, anyway. Yeah. Could be wrong. Right, so does that help with the terms of the planning coming up to slow, heavy traffic? Yeah. If you, I did a video on this a couple of weeks back. It's called heavy traffic. <laughs> I think I just called it that or something. Yeah. But uh, it just... That's how I keep myself moving and I plan really well and I always know where I'm going to stop if you want to give that a watch. 
joys of Pride Park traffic. Yeah. So here, let's ease off. Let's create some space. See what I mean? Now we can see the road ahead. We'll see brake lights before it even breaks. So we know where it's going to stop and then we can see how we should just our speed to see where we're going to stop then. See what I mean? So then just start braking that bit earlier now, showing the brake lights to the car behind as well. Clutch down, drop the gear then, so that we can actually go slow without the car pushing and rumbling off the gas cover brake, giving a brake signal to the car behind. Now clutch down, now first. You see, and you keep this gap then. Yeah. And then keep the gap because he might stop. And then if you stop behind him, you'll be on the blocking the junction. Okay, now we know we're going to clear the junction. And it's it's one step at a time to the next thing, to the next thing, to the next thing. Constantly adjusting the feet and everything. And I hope that helps. I mean, was that yeah. over the top, do you think, or was that useful? No, but, yeah, it's just maintaining my gap, isn't it? Pretty much. Just... To aid good planning. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd just, I'd keep this drive-by free. And it's things people don't think about, but you might as well. I was gonna keep the gap as I wasn't thinking about that. I probably should have. Hmm. But I was more thinking of, well, it's a big truck; it could roll back because it's yeah. on a slight hill. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, absolutely. He, he won't. If you can't see his mirrors, he can't see you. No. But the thing with driveways is, if that black car was turning in. The whole road would be gridlocked. So it's worth thinking about because it would could delay your journey ultimately. So So how's your channel going then Jack? Any more new subscribers on there? I've got three. Three subscribers? Yeah. I wonder if we can make it ten. Yeah. So what's your channel called, Jack? Uh the Boy Gamer. The Boy Gamer on YouTube. There's quite a lot of channels called that, but it's got a picture of a Pagani Kamira. Um, yeah, I do a lot of racing games. I'll be doing maybe a few challenges. And yeah, lots of stuff. Sounds fun. So we'll keep on this road, following it straight up. Um, we'll do the roundabout that leads us towards yours, onto the A, towards Burton A38, yeah? Yeah. And we went over that in terms of the lanes last week. Do you want to go at doing it yourself this week? Uh, or do you want me to guide you through again and point you in the right, right direction? I know it says, obviously, the road that you want on the road. Like it says it on too much about the signals on these but do always signal to exit okay. on them because often entries aren't controlled so you could affect traffic sometimes particularly for the middle you signal right it can be confusing because it be left if you signaled right now no harm done I mean you can do it now if you want to signal right it's just going to clear up that you are turning right towards Burton okay. uh, it's not going to confuse anybody but then when you spiral you want to think about whether you still want that on anyway I'll leave you to it fantastic Jack yeah, and then you can pop a, pop a lefty on. Getting targeted by a people carrier, are we?
just staying on it really, heading towards yours. Does that make sense about the signals? Why, when, when it's... Be, mo be most mindful of it when you're in the middle lane. Well, the thing is, what you'll learn, Jack, a lot of it with driving, if there is no dead set, black or white, yes or no, it's like, do this if this, and that if that, think about that, consider that. Yeah. Shades of grey in between, as I like to uh, put it. Hit you now. Yeah. Do you think you could have gone? Yeah, I could have. You was a lovely speed, weren't you, coming in? So that gap that you had, you didn't make, you'd have kept it. Yeah. You've stopped there before on that one. Yeah. And not needed to. And you're really quite good at your roundabouts generally. You keep your speed up, carry on driving, and so just think of it as a through road. Uh. Because that's not an intimidating bend, is it? No. So you just keep driving. If it's safe to cross the giveaway lines on the roundabout, that's just change the way that you think that approach, maybe. Okay. And look where you're going as well before you get there. That will help give you confidence to know it's safe to drive into where you're going. Yeah. So don't just look to the right. Look forward well into the direction you're going to be going. It's like, I mean, it's mandatory that we stop there. Yeah. You know, if somebody's waiting. Yeah, if someone's, yeah.
Who sport that car by putting them initials on the right hand side, look. Yeah, I know. What's that, IMBO? It looks like there was a J or a U. Jimbo. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, good one, yeah. The J's fell off.
if I feel immediately that you've not got the pressure that you need, I'm going to say brake, brake, brake. And if I say that, it means I've got time to say that. Okay. You shouldn't allow me time to say that. Uh, yeah. But if you do, I'm going to say brake, 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 and that means brake firmer. Okay. Press it more. Okay? Yeah. to you now how are you going to break you tell me how you do it yeah doing it's different isn't it okay hopefully then if this black car doesn't pull in or anything more nothing behind us nothing at the junctions oh, oh and the blue car's going to move off just pull in on the left oh no it's not it's doing a u-turn so we might, we might still be able to do it nothing behind us at the moment but i don't want you to check anyway I want you to be up to date generally. Yeah. Stop. That's better. That was much better, Jack, thanks. So just tell me, Jack, why was that better? I actually went on the Yeah, we actually did an emergency stop, didn't we? That's it. Happy with that now? Yeah. Yeah? I would practice that in the week, and I would practice the parallel park in the week, and then see how you feel at Come into next session in terms of you know yeah. whether you want to look at them or not. Yeah. I think we should move. Um, move. It's going to be a nice. Well, we've got next week off because I'm not here. Oh right, okay, yeah. So. Um, I think we should start doing longer routes and busier stuff. I do yeah. with your driving. I think the manoeuvres, you you just sort of can get that quite quickly and quite easily. Yeah. But I think the main focus now should be your theory. Yeah. Faster roads, spiral roundabouts, preparing, starting to look at preparing for tests and things like that. Now doing more work around that area going forwards. Yeah. And obviously the Bay Park still left to, to do, but I think you'll I think you'll get that really quick to be honest. It'll all get done either way, so um, turn right at the end. all that signal and turn off the engine completely. So how have you found today's lesson? Yeah, it went well. Uh, I'm glad I got the, uh, the emergency stop. Yeah. I, I, I now know what it's supposed to feel like. Yeah. That you are meant to feel that braking force. Yeah. It's not meant to be a smooth thing. <laughs> no, not really. It's, yeah. Save that for your junctions. Yeah. Or when traffic's behind you. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, parallel park. I think I'm pretty much almost there. I'm, the times we've done it today, I've improved. Yeah. Which is good. Um, general driving's been quite good, I think, apart from going up and over the curb. Hmm. <laughs> um, what did you learn from it, though? To. 100% assess like what um, like what type of corner it is and how sharp it is and what the speed is and mm. yeah do you know what I do I come off the gas dead early as well and I let tick over take me normally when I'm doing the, you know real tight ones because it's even tighter if a car or a van comes to the junction at the same time yeah. you know opposite so as you turn in it comes towards um, you know, and, and that's when you've got to be really skillful because the temptation is to cut it a bit so that you don't hit that car, but 
yeah like you say just assess it steer later but faster not too late of course but not too early it's that fine line i mean what we could do if you wanted to we could go back to similar things and i could say and i could guide you through i could say right do this do that don't steer don't steer and steer yeah. and you'd see that it'd just get you around yeah. the, the way you steered was fine it was just like we said just the time too early, yeah. mm. what have you learnt about planning in terms of keeping junctions free slow moving traffic etc um just to like um it's like as you said, like coming to like the junctions to like get the clutch down and get it into first gear when you're coming up to a giveaway junction, just to get ready before you're there. That makes sense. So get in first gear before you're there, and you get there on the line. Yeah, yeah, good. Um, I think you're okay with that, weren't you? Anyway, I mean, in terms of slow moving traffic. You know, you're in a long queue of traffic or you're approaching a roundabout, it's stop start type thing, the junction's right, junction's left, driveways. Yeah. What have you learnt in terms of planning today? Do you remember we looked at not following the car in front too closely and oh, keeping yeah. a bigger gap? Yeah. Go on then. Just like watch ahead of what's in front of you, like watch what people do in front of them. And how do you gain a better view ahead? Just Stay, give yourself a bigger gap. Yeah. Um, and just, yeah, just give yourself room. Um, so like, for example, when I was coming, there were traffic lights. We were all moving, and then it just stopped, and I was stuck in the middle of a mm. yeah. junction, which obviously you can't do. The most important thing is, you didn't go when that other lane of traffic was going to start to go. Yeah. You was already past your solid white line. That's that's the bit you're looking for. Am I past my solid white line? And that's the cut off really. You you don't want to go past that unless your exit's clear, unless you clear the, the you know, the the yeah. side right. As it were, we weren't actually in any danger, but you know sometimes when you're lumbered in a position yeah. like that. On a test I would have failed. Mm, not sure. I'm not sure. I've never come across a situation quite like that in that context I couldn't say I think it because it wasn't dangerous we, we were like the, the actual curb it still went up and round like, yeah exactly in front of us exactly. we weren't in the actual I think we were physically in the middle of the junction probably but and where could... we were we were okay I think mm. You could see your lights as well. Sometimes you do that, and there's you can't see your lights because mm. you pass pass them. Yeah. But you could see them. So yeah, it wasn't all bad, but it was certainly a good thing for us to pick up on and then start talking about because I'd already actually seen shades of you doing that earlier. Yeah. You watch it when you watch it back. That BP, and you'll see me say, "Just look at the car in front." And when I say it, I even think to myself, "That don't make sense." What you've just said the car started moving mm. but it will make yeah. sense now that's it yeah okay I think that's it I mean generally your driving's good you're making a handful of mistakes some reason can be reasonably serious uh, but that's that's normal because you, you've only on what hour 22 by the end of today but I was watching we've always still done still learning aren't we? yeah 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 you're doing tremendously well so um, yeah so I think um, the next step is I think we've been looking at manoeuvres quite a bit recently and things like that I think we should break it up and look at some faster driving bigger roundabouts getting from A to B you know mixing yeah, it up place to place, yeah. I think so and then uh, maybe the next session looking at some bay parking and incorporating that with everything else but it's your call it's whatever you yeah, feel it's a good call actually like a bit more driving around yeah like long I think distances so. and bit of like as you say like bay parking I think we did as well mm. we've got all the tools then to drive wherever we want if you think about it you can now parallel park if we need to do the emergency stop you can do that if if you need to pull up on the right whatever if I you know for whatever reason you can do that if uh, and then if we need to go to a supermarket wherever and park you can then do that can't you so 
We'll go for a drive through. <laughs> go for, we'll go for a drive through, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, yeah, happy? Yeah. All right.